operatives are dead. At the end of my previous video, Something Sensible, the third way, I promised I would show you our protagonists taking down their respective targets. Well, that's what I'm doing. And this is Franklin going to take down Mr. Chang. But before, what I'm having him do is stop and switching to a sticky bomb. Because this is the best way to take down Mr. Chang is using a sticky bomb. So I'm going to get on with Franklin's taking down Mr. Chang because it is a very long ride. Now, as you approach Mr. Chang, he's going to have security detail. You want to throw the sticky bomb on any of the vehicles, detonate it, and you're going to take out Mr. Chang. Now, his security detail attacks you. You want to get a machine gun, and you can just take them down. Um, yeah, the other truck is gone. Everything is, the other guys are trying to shoot at Franklin. I'm getting out of here. And the sad part is you can't get to the next uh, mission until you take down Mr. Chang's goons. And I realize that because if you go to, you don't automatically go to the next mission. You got to go back and take down Mr. Chang's goons. And yeah, I'm going to send Franklin back to do that. Ain't gonna have no more triads coming after. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho! Who's up? We still gotta do stretch and agent hates. I chose Michael to take down Stretch, and really, you just drive up to the spot. And you can take stretch down using a sniper rifle. But I always seem to get this one wrong. Pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who tanked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. You can toggle to see Haynes on the Ferris wheel. I'm not doing that. And to be honest with you, I kind of screwed up a little bit. And tried to kill him a few times. No matter what you do, once you kill him, you have to flee and get away from the police. I be agent, and you've got a unique look at what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams, but sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut! Oh God, that's a cliche, man. Mm. Man, that's a cliche. What? 
No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. That was really strong. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Oh, my God! Guy! This thing is shot him! Now you got to lose the cops. You automatically get a two-star wanted level, which kind of sucks. I think there's a way you can do it without getting a two-star wanted level. But last couple times I've done this, yeah, I've gotten a two-star wanted level. Okay, two-star wanted level gone. Trevor will now... Go to take down Devin Weston. On his way, there is a gun store. Yeah. My advice, stop there. Stop at any gun store and pick up some ammo. I've stated before, don't buy body armor. In this case, it's one of the few times I would say go into an ammunition and buy some body armor is going over to Devin Weston's place. He will have armed security. And yeah, just a $2,000 heavy body armor. And you can go and take Devin Weston down. I'm going to cut to where Trevor does arrive at Devin Weston's house. My advice when you arrive at Devin Weston's house don't go in there guns blazing. He has security. Meriwether guards all over the place, and they are heavily armed. So once you get out, do it the sneaky way. Try and take down the guards one by one and use an assault rifle. Attack is on! Defensive positions! Get a Damn job! It. Don't let him get the DW! You're down! Take that shit out down! You, you can't pussy. hide forever! of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. I 
I'm here for you. Dead. Wait, wait, hear me out! Ugh. No more talking! Now you gotta take Devin Weston to the rendezvous point, and it is a very long drive. There's actually some very interesting conversation between Trevor and Weston when you're driving. To be honest with you, I'm not gonna play it. I'm just going to cut to where uh, something interesting happens because unfortunately in GTA 5, even though you are playing main missions like this one, uh, certain events can happen, and I'm going to cut to that. As you can see, motorcycle riders from the Lost MC. Trevor has a bit of a problem with them, and they are now shooting at Trevor, and he's trying to just get to the main point, but things aren't going to work out very well. Watch this puppy! You don't want me to get out of here. Find a happy place, you zen cock! Usually dead. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time. Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one, 
is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you. And then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. And there you have it. The official end of GTA 5, the main missions, the, th the third way, the hardest way to do things. Well, yeah. If you end up choosing to kill Michael or Trevor, the game ends at that point. But I do it the hard way because it's more fun. And it's more satisfying. As always, if you've liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. Because I post four video game related videos a week. Plus some shorts and specials and some surprises. I'll be posting more GTA 5 stuff because I still have some stranger missions to do and some other things coming up, and you want to find out when I post them. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.